In this video clip, I'm going to show you how you can use freebie applications that are included on a Mac desktop. And I just got a new Mac laptop, a MacBook, and it works the same way. And this is a great way to record your screen. I'll show you in a moment how to do it and to easily upload it to YouTube or any other platform, I guess. And the only way to do is to learn, but if you want to rid using, if you, if you don't want to create a whole video using iMovie and you're uh, trying to figure out how to do something quick on the fly. And see, you can see me in this screen because I have photo booth open, which is great. And you can always minimize this, but this is what I'm going to do here. I'm gonna minimize it. See my cursor? I'm gonna come down to here, launch pad, where all the applications are, I'm gonna click it. Then, it brings you to here first. Now you wanna click on other, you see my cursor right here? See that it's the last row, um, one, two, three, four, fifth column right here. You're gonna click it and you're going to see QuickTime right here on the first row, second column right here. And you're gonna click it. I'm saving it to my desktop because I feel, I feel it, um, uploads to YouTube faster. And I don't save all my videos. I delete them when I, when I get them uploaded to YouTube. You can save them, I don't. And you click cancel. You see, click cancel. And you come up to the top left. You see QuickTime Player? Oops, I'm so sorry. I guess I'll just have to do it again. You see QuickTime Player? Click on File. You want to click on file, click on file and you see new movie recording, new audio recording or new screen recording. The reason why it's not highlighted is because I'm using it right now. You click that and on the bottom of the screen, it will give you choices. Do you want to record a partial? of your screen or the entire screen like I'm doing now? Do you want to capture something? Do you want to record just a window? They give you those options on the new. This is a new MacBook laptop. And they also give you many other settings and I have it set, give me five seconds after I click record to go record. And you can tweak it however you want to use it. But once you record, you come up here. You see up here on top, this, this circle, I don't want to click it because it's going to stop recording me. That's how you end the recording. You end it clicking on that and then you save it to your computer. I save it to my desktop. Once I upload it to YouTube, I delete the videos. I don't let it sit on my hard drive. I keep everything very empty and that's good. So make sure your volume's on, of course. I have it almost on high. And that is a simple way to screen record. And then you save it and then you upload it to YouTube without using an iMovie, without creating a big production. It's fast, simple, easy. It's like just streamline right to YouTube. So that's how you do it. I hope you learned something in this video. You all have to start someplace. Now I'm starting to go live recording my screen while I'm live and I couldn't figure that out for like a year and I finally figured it out. Never give up. I've been using this method. I used it on a 12 year, 12 year old computer that finally went kaput. That's why I got a Mac mini and it works the same way on a Mac mini. And I got a laptop, a MacBook laptop and they both work the same way. You don't need any fancy equipment. Just make sure you use your photo booth. Oh, I forgot to show you that when you go in here, See how I'm going to click outside of that? There's your photo booth. And that's how you get that open. No, let me click it. That's how that opens. I should have showed you that. So you open up photo booth, you minimize it. Then you go to launch pad. Then you go to other over here. Then you click on QuickTime over here. 
Then you click on cancel after you choose where you want to save it. Then you go to the top left and click on file. Then you click on new screen recording and a box on the bottom will pop up. And that's where all your settings are. You tell it what you want to record and how you want it to work. Save it, upload it to YouTube. I'll see you later. Don't forget to give this video a like if it's helpful and useful. And please don't forget to subscribe to Internet Education 101 YouTube channel. I'll see you then. See you next time. Bye.